Welcome back to my journey of improvement in Under Night 2. This is a series where I attempt to get the coveted S rank. Will I get there, or will I fumble and beat? Let's see how far I can go. As a heads up, this video is still in the initial version, so some combo routing and pressure will be different than what I do today. Go up or get less in the rank? <laughs> Oh, gosh, it reached. Oh, what? I should have won that. Byakuya's 6 e and Smart Steer are both risky moves if you know the counters. 6 e can be avoided with the forward jump, while Smart Steer can be punished by throwing or shielding the last hit into a 7 frame or faster attack. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Wait, you could call after that? Oh, shoot. Oops. I guess I can't. <laughs> All right. I totally missed a whole bunch of things, but I'm almost there. Yes. Oh, it does. I go less. Oh, I'm actually so close to A. Oops. Nice assault. If you noticed, 
I have been doing a lot of dash up assault to bait a throw. Intermediate players will be good enough to react to the dashes, but sometimes will not have the muscle memory or the knowledge to use option selects. If it works, it's probably better to keep doing it until it gets countered, instead of going to the next step of reads. Ah, shit. Will I finish? Let's go. <clears throat> yeah, my 80% win rate. I'm attacked. Oh, shit. Should have traded. What is this? Oh, that was a back ash. Oh, it's still it doesn't go away on. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's not more comps. Goes away. Wait, you could do that. I had no idea. Forgot, forgot, forgot how to play this matchup. Can you do it again? Lots of Seth players usually play defensively when their projectile is out. They are patiently waiting for you to press buttons into them. One way to deal with it is to throw, but another is to simply jump at the last second. The projectile tracks where you are and not where you are going. If you time it right, it will go right past you. Of course, if you make it too obvious, the Seth player can anti-air, but at longer ranges, it's not much of a risk. You can also mess with anti-air timings if your character has different air mobility options. Somebody did something. Sorry, I... I... That's unfortunate. Thanks, Ace win. Thanks for the thanks for the rain. Also, why is this? Why isn't this person blogging? Every time I play an S rank who doesn't blog, I'm just I just get curious on what they're doing. How do you get this high without blocking? Oops. I accidentally... Oh my god, am I gonna lose this like this? Seth teleport strings can be very hard to deal with. One good way of avoiding the basic mix-up is to do an evasive maneuver like creeping edge or backdash once he vanishes. Staying in place and blocking often incentivizes the Seth player to keep resetting the string for another teleport. As a heads up, he does have moves to answer these invasive options, but it requires them to change their string, and it usually puts them in a disadvantageous situation. It's a great way to add a mental stack to their offense.
Woo. Woo. I'm not all that ass rank right. I mean, I barely play rank, but it's just, it's just, it's just a good. Well, it's actually, it's actually so much easier when people don't block. If you want to win more consistently, blocking the basic mix-ups is necessary. Reversals and wake-up buttons work more often if you force the opponents to do riskier mix-ups. But if you don't, there's no reason for opponents to take risks. If you want more details on benefits of blocking, check out this guide. It uses Street Fighter V, but the concept is shared amongst most fighting games. Links will be in the cards and details. It's a Gordo! This is why I need OS. I backed that. What the heck, dude? That was not the punish, but. Man, I'm dropping those. Uh, oh shoot! Oh shoot! I might actually make it. I might actually make it. Let's go. I want my 80% back too. I don't think I'll get it back anytime soon. Oops. Can you please hit? That was a shield. Speed properly, please. Oh, are you pressing buttons? Ay. That's right, I can't. Anyway, I can't. I can't punish. I block an overhead. I'm like, I can press buttons, and I'm like, I can't. Not against this character. Anyway. It's fine. I mean, dumb. I'll have enough. I don't have enough muscle memory against this character. Oh, 
Ah, uh, you kidding me? Probably inputted beforehand. Gordo's assimilation is a true hit grab as it cannot be blocked and hits her boxes instead of collision boxes. If timed well, you can see some pretty hilarious interactions. I'm actually surprised that didn't grab me. I didn't get enough. Oh, that's exciting. Gosh, man. So many drops. Oh, God, these drops are scaring the heck out of me. But I did, did I make it? Did I make it? Yes, I did. Woo.